Hey guys, my name is Max Mears and welcome to part 3 of my little duo survival series. Links to part 1 and 2 are down below. Rust is a tricky game, especially when you upset people in your area who have it out for you. Most people will not do the honourable thing and online raid you. Today you're going to witness two offlines, but neither of them are from my behalf and one of them I'm counter raiding. I teased in the last video the massive cave base that is right next to us. We can get inside, but we do not have the explosives to hit this thing, but today a big clan decides to try their luck and unfortunately we live very nearby enjoy so what's the offline raid that you're not going to experience me counter raiding well it's the offline that i logged into um i mean the first thing i'm going to do is rebuild my base <laughs> That's before I do anything else. They didn't profit with sulfur, but they got a huge amount of metal. Now, it's not exactly hard to farm in this area, so it's not really a big deal that um, that this has happened to us. Now, they weren't able to grief us because we've got externals connected to the base. In terms of, like, material costs here, you're looking at about 50 rockets plus here because after this HQ wall, there was another HQ wall. I mean, this is an expensive raid. A very expensive raid. And they got all of our loot. Funnily enough, except for the one thing we need to rebuild, which is behind this box right here. So we've got a small variety of guns right there. Uh, we have... This is all of the gunpowder we had. Uh, we did have about two rows of uncooked sulfur that they got. And nearly a full box of metal, which they also got. Um, that was basically it. But we still have... Salvage picks, chainsaws, you know, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chainsaw. I'm going to get a fat stack of wood. Um, I'm also going to seal up the base entrance here. That was our front door. Yeah, okay. So still got a tier two. We've still got a base. Now, as far as offlines go, this is just about the best possible situation you can be in. I've still got my workbench. I've still got just enough resources to stop the decay. I've got everything I need to farm, and I've even got a few weapons to defend myself. If there was anything to take away from this, it would be make sure you spread your loot out around the base. Have a little bit of everything in every area. So I set to work. First of all, I got a massive amount of wood. Wood being the lifeblood of every rust base. You need it for everything. You even need it to get other materials. It's incredibly useful. Once my wood craving had been satisfied it was time to get nodes and there is no shortage of nodes in the area but first i had a little chat with my neighbor he informed me that it was a russian clan that offlined me and he counted at least four or five of them crawling all over my base now my neighbor is a nice kid i've been friends with him this whole series if you've been watching the episodes you know about him he's a bit of a role player so he's been living in a hotel and he told me about some drama that he was having with a different group of russians but that's neither here nor there stone metal silver it didn't matter i need everything with my base somewhat repaired in under half an hour my large furnace is cooking even though they're unprotected right now it's worth the risk i need metal frags and i need some gunpowder just so i can make more ammunition uh tons of metal in these already it's crazy how quick you get metal with large furnaces isn't it i emptied one of these earlier already yeah this one Look, nearly 4k, 4.5k metal, easy. But it turned out I wasn't the only one who was offline. There were plenty of other bases in the area that were being scavenged by nakeds, and I had to go and see if I could get my fair share. Uh, he just started panicking and running away. He might have some stuff. He did not want to die. Oh my god. I see why he didn't want to die. I mean, that's like basically everything, to be honest. You think that decayed? Or did it get raided? Some random guy in there with a bow. It must be easy-ish easy, easy -ish to get in. Walls are open on this side by the looks of it. Yeah, this place has been cleaned out. Bruh, come on, man. I stopped shooting to be nice, and you, you shot me anyway. I want to just take a moment to thank all of my wonderful, wonderful patrons. This channel wouldn't be around without patrons supporting me for years now. If you're interested in even just the lowest package for an ad block forgiveness, that's $2 a month and it helps make videos like this possible. Thank you. Okay. The scraps. 
quite a lot of loot there, actually. Day's work done. Exactly, Blue. Exactly. Just clearing out the trash. The trash! <laughs> There's lots of things that you accumulate while playing a wide. Now, I don't have any of those because I've just been raided. So I went out looking for animals and then I heard a raid going on nearby. That's a lot of boom boom. If there's one thing that I can do right now to get back in the game, it's even just getting a few weapons from a raid. That's like four dudes shooting rockets for sure. That's probably explo. I don't know if I should just wait for other counters. I just try and get in a good position. And just... <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, another guy! I don't. Yeah, I got no idea where he's gone. Oh, there. Is that him? That's most of my bullets. He's dead. A couple of guns. Yeah, he got all the guns. Eight cloth. Did you see that eight cloth? Eight greasy cloth that we could have got. I have to go back there for the eight cloth. Now, of course, my greed knows no bounds. And I did go back with the intent of getting some loot from the raid itself. Oh, it's in a chunky. That's a terrible idea, Max. That's a f***ing terrible idea. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so much ammo. <laughs> Attaining three or four weapons and not losing anything is a pretty stellar way to start the day, especially when you had basically nothing to begin with. And without any explosives, I did want to do a raid, but obviously I couldn't go for anything too serious. There's been a wooden door base mocking me for the last three days on the server. Whoever built it clearly quit shortly after getting it down. But with these little bases, you never know if they found an airdrop, stole an AK, or just ended up farming loads of materials and never using them to expand their base because they quit. But I never a bit off a little bit more than I could chew, assuming that I wouldn't be hassled at all while just trying to get through a wooden door. Okay, I think we can't even repair these tools anymore. Wooden door? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I like that. How many more fire arrows did he have? Was that his last one? That's a shame. Could have used that. There's another guy creeping up now. Different guy. Uh, the life of a solo player. Alright, I'm down to my last two syringes, but whatever. I'm gonna have to go with it. Um, yeah, I just gotta bash this door a little bit, basically, and we're good to go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Alright, you got a guy with a bow. Oh, road sign body armor. I mean, it's not not worth, is what I would say. This kid has no idea how much fighting went through to get inside the space. And now we come to the main event. Just as I was finishing off the wooden door raid, I heard some explosions going off towards the cave base. Fortunately for me, Ty just got online, and together we decided to head over in that general direction. If you watched the previous video, you know we have access to the cave base since we TC griefed it on the outside and we can actually jump inside. The only other way in is by Mini, and while we don't have one of those, there's plenty of people in the area who do. There is a raid going off over here. I was going to go to that. Why, oh, you think it's right in the cave base? No, no, I think it's the thing next to the cave. <laughs> Pardon me. That. Oh. Yeah, that thing. Wait. There. I think the, they're flying in, though, is the problem. I don't think they can... I don't think we can get to the raid. It might be. There's The really big base to our left has also been raided today. Yeah, we still own this priv as well. Eight days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. And yeah, 1k stone in there. There's a mini. I'm going to come in this one. 
Yeah, the other guy twice. Oh, one, of them. Well, one of them died. Yeah, I don't think we can get to his body though. Could he die inside? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, there's no way. No. He's trying to land. Oh, he nearly blew up. Oh, wait, we're going on. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Right, we're going. Hide, hide, hide. I hit him again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a close one. They got really weird TC privilege. They, they put their TCs right up against the walls. One of them's dead for sure. He's he'll be he'll have full invent probably. He's coming for his mate's loot, I think. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, there's just no way. Did he crash? He came in pretty hot. <laughs> nice. So very irritatingly, we've killed two fully geared guys, but both of them died behind walls. One of the walls is owned by the clan who seems to be raiding everyone. This is the Russian group. And the other guy who died, died behind the walls that we can get into with a little bit of effort, but not while getting shot at. That would be the solo cave base. Now, right now, we have no idea how many people we're against until we hear this explosion. Oh, they are raiding him. Now we know there was already people inside the solo base raiding, and this group or two were probably just transporting more explosives over. Um, we could, yeah, th this could be a fun counter. Oh, what the fuck is right here? Oh, I, I hit him and hit him. He's really low. It's on my body now. He's dead. Nice. I've got a bag here. <laughs> we're looting his shit. Well, we can build up there, for sure. I might just go home with his bear and stuff and then come back. Maybe he's got more rockets on him. Like, I don't, I don't know. know who that dude even was. Like, I don't know if he was a part of those guys or not. Oh. We decided the best thing to do right now is go full grub mode. We've got six or seven tier two guns in the base, but only one AK that we might need at a later date. But the best thing we can do right now is figure out what is going on inside that base. How far through the raid are they? And is it worth us bringing over the AK and trying to go deep on them? Two guys. One counter raid. Yeah, I'm expecting to get shot. Wait, right? I, wait here, Helly again? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, Helly. Here he comes, here he comes. I tagged one, tagged one. Yeah, I hit one. Oh, we're fucked. <clears throat> Should have brought the AK kit. <laughs> Did you die? Yeah. Oh, Him instantly just falls to zero. The harder shooting it out. That's alright, we can repair that. I'm coming over. They're, they're, they're behind these walls, hope you can kill them and get some more loot. They got some rockets for the sounds of it. And are they raid in the cave or like mm -hmm. the thing. Should have brought a torch with him, man. Yeah. Get I got one. Yeah, we're good. Same. We could take our mini. Oh, yeah. We could just pinch it. Where is it? I don't know. It's got me on top of this thing then. Oh, yeah. Any low grade? Mm. Oh, yeah, 250. You wanna just fly out? Yeah, just uh, let's try and cover it. Do I just put it in our compound so they don't see it? Yeah, maybe. Oh god, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh no, bro. And if you crash, it's not a big deal. Maybe they raided whatever they were raiding. Um, lol? I died. There we go. Yeah, still some sort of raid going on here. Can't see shit though. Oh, they didn't even loot me. I think they were scared to run out of the cave. Either that or their full inventory. I got my AK back. Oh. They're like laughing and... They're, they're raiding, they're at the bottom. Are you, can you get in here? Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. These are C4 and shit. Like, it's a proper serious raid. Yeah, he's down there. Uh, I, th I think I've got them pincered. Like, I don't think they can come out. Are you at the bottom? Yeah. Double headshot one. Hey, okay. I, I just—I think I just killed one down there. But there might be another one. Oh, he's full dead, full dead here. Oh, 
I got rocket. <laughs> there's two more. There's two more. I think I killed them all. No. I can try and jump in again. Ooh. Yeah, I'm running back down the cave. Yay. <laughs> Let's see what they were, because they were jacking and hitting stuff. Let's let's check out the raid before we before we leave. Uh, oh my god, they were raiding this place. Wait, I see so what they hard. were doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna rock it. Will I uh, die oh, from can, that? can I have a look? Can I have a look before you? Right, the, so wait, they were raiding this, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, we could just run, but we have. Yeah, I don't. Can we can we even get out? I mean, what what's 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 back here? Is that, did you like clear this out? Oh yeah, there's wait, like a, we There's can. like a GE and there's SMGs everywhere, mate. There's shotgun traps in here as well. SARS. Uh, mate, 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 the boxes are all here. Oh, there's so much loot in here. Yeah. Uh, I, I walked through the whole base. Jackie's boxes. Bro, there's boxes and boxes of loot here. How'd you get up? Uh, I just saw a crouch jump, so I don't really know. Uh, yeah. There's tons of metal frags and shit in here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave one of these kits, like some of this garbage that I got. There's tons of food and stuff here. If you want to eat up, maybe not. Yeah, maybe we should leave actually before. Uh, well, before they come back. Seal it up. Does it even? Wait, does it have a TC? I I don't know. Oh, it does. It does still have a TC. TC. Okay. TC? Um. Oh, there's the TC. I think. Can you, you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm I'm, I'm coming up to you. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait, I need to... Wait, uh, give me AK. Oh, my metal. Holy metal, yeah. I can't see any wood. I, I was looking a bit. I haven't looked very five, well. There was 500. Oh, there might have been an auto turret in here. Holy Ooh, metal. Three, HQ yeah. coming out of our ears here. Oh, my God. Um, f bro, I don't know what to drop, to be honest. I got three launchers on me. I'm just gonna grind them. I'm just gonna ditch them. 48 HQ, fucking shit tons of metal. I'm gonna drop this 2k sulfur for more metal. We're stuck down here, but we can put like a bunch of doors between us and them if we want. There's a box that says wood on it and it's empty. It's the worst day ever. Right, uh, I'm putting some really, really good loot here that I'm gonna take with me. Alright, uh, yeah, I, I was putting stuff into that box at the bottom there. This one here, this drop box. Yeah, yeah you saw it. Uh, and then the one next to it. Yeah, nice. I think that's all the best stuff in those boxes. Where is the tier three? Where did I put it? Is it in this it's box here? Is it? Oh yeah, it's in that good box. Yeah, this box has some juicy grease in it. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. I had the helmet. Come along, cats, cats. Oh, I'll, I'll follow you. <laughs> I think clear. I'm right. You could shoot a GL in their face and survive. Yeah. <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly restricted mobility. After sealing up the base and retrieving three full inventories of loot, we then went on to do some more minor raids, a bit of PvP around the map, nothing too interesting. But this was part three and the final part of the wipe. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I would have put in the extra raids and stuff, but it's kind of hard to follow the amount of loot we just got. And we're basically hitting like three by twos, two floors high with like mostly prim loot, some tier two stuff. So I'm glad you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.